All right. Okay. Okay, so they're going to Lila. That's interesting. I would imagine that this is going to be in this pick. Oh, wow. I guess Pokemon's not helping him here. <laughs> Water is not beating fire this time. Chat? Oh. Okay, well, that was good. I guess we're both leaving. Yep. Tropical Pyramid on the mic. Hey, darkness. Okay. All right, so Mr. A versus Andy. Corn versus Bowser. This is a pretty bad matchup for Bowser, I would assume. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. This is a good this stage. Is this is a decent stage for Bowser, I think, in this matchup. I'm surprised matchup, Andy though. gave him this for game one. But whatever. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that he forgot to take this away. Yeah. I mean, Corrin doesn't hate this stage, but... Still, I, would, I wouldn't give this to Bowser, necessarily. No, it's, it's pretty pretty good for him, I, I, I'd say. It's pretty alright. As long as he doesn't get stuck under the stage. Yeah. Grabbing Bowser will probably end Andy's life right now. It's going to be up to Andy, though, to control the platforms. Yeah, if he can get one more up air, that'll be it. Oh. Good auto cancel with the side B. Ooh, actually falls behind him. Oh, is that gonna? Yep, that'll take it. Okay. Yep. Caught him with pu uh, with punishing that down tilt. Good and stuff. And he's still at death percent. Is that gonna be it? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's it. Okay. Nothing you could really do about that though, because yeah. he was at zero percent. So Chad had full control over the right. side B. Okay, gets the stun. Doesn't get the pin down follow up, unfortunately. He probably should have just dash attacked in that situation. Perhaps. Or went for like a fair to get another it, it fair. Because it was what, it was tilting up or right? Or, or it's... Well, there was no way he was going to stick him from that yeah. angle. I, remember, I know the tilting was messing him up. Oh, okay. Get up air. Very dangerous Ooh. to whiff aerials versus Corrin because up air and neutral air are just really good out of air, air dodge. Uh, unless you frame trapper properly. Got Bowser off stage. Ooh, there's a tip for forward smash. Not going to finish it off. So able Ooh, I thought it was going to back air. Ooh, good down tilt, actually. Good answer. Yep, there's recovery. Unable to cover the ledge get up. Ooh. Is that, okay, dash attacks that time. No attempt at a kill. Ooh, Oh, bad read roll. the roll. <laughs> yeah. This is very close. That kill feels going to take a while to finish off Bowser. Oh. Is that? No. Wow. Damn. Oh, oh Chad wow. had a mess up right there. He, I think he wanted to run off. Andy, good, good, uh, good, good the call edge. there on the shield. Grabs him. Oh, oh, that's, that's it. it. That is absolutely yep. it. Wow. That, that's the buff. The buff to uh, Bowser's side B. Much, much bigger now in the air. Uh, it's still not nearly as big as its uh, brawl counterpart, but uh, still, see. got the job done. Still, that um, yeah, that's a tough one because yeah, again, I, well. I really don't know why they went to that stage. I think Andy should have took that away just because of the platform. Yeah, it, it's. Very easy for Bowser to get the side B on the platform. Oh yeah, no, yeah, because those those kills were really easy for him. Very basic. Yeah, did not do a good job of controlling the platforms as Corrin. War platforms. <laughs> Probably. Well, I mean, this is not a bad stage at all for A and D. Um, it's not. It's it's one of his plus favorite. higher ceiling. So I think I think um, this will be safer. Mm -hmm. You just gotta be careful. The, like, the the ledge here is also very good for Corrin's side B. Oh yeah. Ooh, nice jab. Uh, jab one for Bowser is plus seven on hit. A lot of frame advantage. Ooh, okay. So you got to make sure that you know what oh, you're doing man. if you get hit A &D's by that. He's got to be careful when he follows Bowser into the air because right there. Chad's just falling with these down airs and catching him out of everything. I don't know if you saw that, but when he back aired Bowser's up smash, the auto guard went through it. Yeah, yeah. Pretty interesting interaction right there. It just kind of clanked, but didn't really. It's weird. <coughs> yeah, Andy, I think he's. A little nervous because if he loses his stock now, he's gonna be in a bit of trouble. Yeah, Andy is definitely cognizant of his high percent right now. Yeah, he's afraid to uh, to overextend. I mean, this is fine though. He's he's not um, getting punished or anything. He's actually doing a good job walling out Bowser. Right there, he should have used side B right there. All right, he'll live. Ooh, there's the side B. I wonder if Andy's gonna opt for a counter at some point in this match. Probably not, because oh, probably not because of because of that. It. 
because it, it, it yeah. Chad's been landing with side B all set already. So if he um, if he tries to counter and he gets grabbed, that's like 3%. Yeah. And he gets nothing out of it. That won't do it. No, not yet. No rage. It's so crucial when you lose your first stock because you lose all your rage. It, against a character like Bowser, yeah, because he's already one. He's super heavy. Hard oh, good kill. grab. That's big. And Half his stock right there, pretty much. Yeah. Plus, if you let him live too long, he's going to use that rage to get kill you, like, if right Ch if Chad, now. Oh, I was going to say, if Chad grabbed him again, I wanted to see the mix-up that he does. And when the rage, it might have killed him, but not going to happen this time. <laughs> he's going to have to take more damage now. Yeah. I mean, I, I would think Chad would be looking for a Very shield nice. break in that scenario. But so so much Ooh. value out of that in there. That oh, shield's getting small. That shield is tiny. All right, so good. Andy strong-arming his way through with the side B. Okay, good. Doesn't commit to a follow. I like it. <laughs> and he needs to stop backing off so much. He does aerial, aerial, and then he like rolls He's away. Of that. He just needs to be more confident in his positioning, and just uh, not worry grab. too much about Bowser's options coming down. They're not that strong. Ooh. Not if you know oh, what to look oh, for. Good mimic grab. You think Andy was there, caught guard? Yeah, yeah. There, there it is, right there, the mix-up. Trying to get that shield breaker, or at least damage or something. Mm, that was more like looking for the kill at that point. I don't. Would it really have killed at that percent? On the top platform, probably. Oh, on the top platform. Okay. Alright, 104 to 111. If Andy can get a strong forward smash, he will finish this off. Andy needs to s keep in mind that his forward smash is getting a little stale. He uses it a lot. Yeah. He See, he always he always stands at the ledge when he's going to look for a roll read. That's it. Oh, wow. Okay, not the best yet. No, yeah, see, like, no, Andy just needs to man up and just stop getting so scared of Chad. Yeah. It's just Bowser. Like, he's big, so he's... Yeah. The, hey, that's, the that's odds the of you hitting people, him are pretty people high. People get scared of Bowser because yeah. Bowser. Yeah. yeah, you just can't get worried of the worst case scenario. Just you, have confidence you just in have your to, You have to know Bowser and you have to understand what you can punish and not and so forth. Yeah, and he should know the matchup. They yeah. played many times, so. Yeah, so long oh, as he holds yeah. his ground, he should be fine. No, I think Charles is playing. What's the score? Oh, Brigade, Brigade. Oh, Brigade. Andy was very fortunate he was able to escape from that game because that was looking very disastrous for him, but able to bring it back in that last stock. It was a, it was a really bad start, but yeah. the matchup kind of just played itself out. I mean, a bad start against Bowser could be horrible. Yeah. Okay, so no platforms this time. Andy's going to have to land very honestly in this, in this matchup, but yeah. so is Bowser. Because the platform worked both ways. It's going to come down to whoever can basically st uh, stay grounded. Because mm -hmm. yeah. Corrin should have the mobility advantage uh, if she uses side B correctly. Oh. And again, the juggling advantage is all hers. Just get her in, get yeah, it's going to be because Bowser's not as mobile, so it's going to be a little harder for him to juggle. Plus, plus I mean, it's going to be easier for AD to retreat to the ledge. Yes. While uh, Chad will have to be wary of. Andy possibly going for like a uh, tipper smash or something. Andy neutral jumping a lot. Good, Good read. Almost gets paid with an early stock. Not Andy loves that dash grab as a mix up. A lot of GSM players love dash grab. <laughs> Ooh. Able to use up B to get out of there. Uh oh. Oh, very fortunate Chad had already. Uh, Chad, went, Chad was looking for an air dodge read or a counter read yeah. right there. That could have been Andy's stock. Is that gonna? Wow. Wow. So that takes it. Probably died off the top, on the side. All right, 94%. Corrin can still easily die here from quite a few things. But it's gonna be important for Andy to try to run away with this. Otherwise, Bowser is gonna have an opportunity. Plus, if I remember correctly, the rule is that if Chad were to Bowser side, he would win, right? Uh, it's the result screen. Oh, result screen. Okay. If it goes to a tiebreaker, though, then uh, I believe. I believe it's against Bowser if he goes to sudden death. Interesting. Not okay. sure though. I have to look at the rule again. Alright, Mr. Eh, trying to find a way to get this stock. Yeah, Andy's playing really lame right now. He's, he's, he has stopped approaching. And this is honestly how you beat Chad. Yeah. You get a lead and then you just you just camp him. Because I mean, yeah. eventually Chad will either screw up or Bowser will just overextend because he's Bowser and he has to. 
Yeah, exactly. Like this, he doesn't have a lot. Oh, missing a crucial back air. There was no need to, for him to counter right there. Yeah. That was a very aggressive counter. I don't know if actually. they would even kill Bowser with a counter. Yeah, like he easily could have just took the ledge for free there, but in any case, yeah. he got away with it. So that's all yeah, that matters. Chad's definitely trying to get something where oh, that's not, not it close yet. Enough. Not close to the ledge. Yeah. Oh. There it is. Nice. All right. Good punish. Eighty-three percent. Now here's the scary thing. It's eighty-three percent, but yeah, but Corrin has really strong kill moves. Yeah. Where Bowser's weight may not matter. Mm. It's gonna depend on how much A and D can keep his composure together and not autopilot. He's already taken fifty-three percent very quickly. That's true. Yeah. And uh, obviously, a shield break means death. Oh wow! I can't believe that worked. Oh. <laughs> I cannot believe that that run-up grab worked. Yeah. Good in air. Covers the, That's uh, his jump. Up. And he needs to oh, go aggressive. Wow. Nice. I like that. He needs to recognize that his jump is gone. Oh, and oh that's wow. It. Not at a frame disadvantage, I guess. Or a buffering something. No, that was just, just that was just the vulnerability just frames of the getup. Alright. Oh, good stuff from AD. Able to <laughs> avoid some of Chad's ridiculous. Yeah, that was definitely <laughs> not the cleanest play from AD. No, not I at think all. I think he was just giving Chad way too much respect. Perhaps. I, just the fear. The whole yeah, fear. I think